Drilling rigs like these bore or drill holes into the earth. Usually they drill to find oil and gas. They work both on land and offshore. Some are big and some are relatively small. Big rigs drill very deep holes, 20,000 feet, 7,000 meters or more. Small rigs may only drill to a few thousand feet or meters. People in the oil industry group rigs into six basic types. Land, jack up, platform, submersible, semi-submersible, and drill ship. A land rig drills on dry land. They're the most common rig. Light duty rigs drill holes from about 3,000 to 5,000 feet deep, or 1,000 to 1,500 meters. Medium duty rigs drill to depths ranging from about 4,000 to 10,000 feet, or 1,200 to 3,000 meters. Heavy duty rigs drill holes from about 12,000 to 16,000 feet deep, or 3,500 to 5,000 meters. Ultra heavy duty rigs drill holes from about 18,000 to 25,000 feet or more, 5,500 to 7,500 meters or more. Crew members can move land rigs on trucks, tractors, trailers, barges, helicopters, heavy rolling gear, skids, and in rare cases, on specialized air pressurized equipment. Small light duty rigs are pretty simple to move. Ultra-heavy land rigs can be difficult to move. A jack-up rig drills offshore wells. It has legs that support a deck and hull. When positioned over the drilling site, the bottom of the legs rest on the seafloor. Jack-up rigs can drill in water depths ranging from a few feet or meters up to more than 400 feet, over 120 meters. Boats tow a jack-up rig to a location with its legs up. Once the rig-up crew gets the legs firmly positioned on the bottom of the ocean, they can adjust and level the deck and hull height. A platform rig is an immobile offshore structure. That is, once built, it never moves from the drill site. Companies drill several wells from the platform. Platform rigs can be tender-assisted rig. The tender floats next to the rigid platform, which is firmly pinned to the seafloor. Many platform rigs do not have a tender. They are so large that they are self-contained. Big platform rigs include the steel jacket platform, the caisson type, and the concrete gravity type. In deep water, rig builders have to make platforms that yield to water and wind movements. Two compliant platform rigs are the guide tower and the tension leg. A submersible rig rests on the seafloor when it is drilling. Workers flood compartments that cause the rig to submerge and rest on the bottom. When ready to move, workers remove the water from the compartments. This makes the rig float. Boats can then tow the rig to the next site. Rig builders design submersibles to drill in shallow water and in water up to about 175 feet deep, a little over 50 meters. Submersible drilling rigs include the posted barge submersible, bottle type submersible, and the Arctic submersible. A semi submersible rig is a floating offshore drilling rig. It has pontoons and columns. When flooded with water, the pontoons cause the unit to partially submerge to a predetermined depth. The working equipment is assembled on deck. On the drill site, workers can either anchor the rig to the seafloor or use a system of thrusters and positioners to keep the rig over the hole. Here, they have it anchored. 
Crew members mount the wellhead and blowout preventers on the ocean floor. Special hollow pipe, called riser pipe, connects the top of the blowout preventer to the rig. In some cases, the crew uses thrusters to keep the rig over the hole. Called dynamic positioning, the thrusters, which are connected to an onboard computer, keep the rig in position. Some dynamically positioned semi-submersibles can drill in water depths of more than 7,500 feet or over 2,200 meters. When keeping a rig over the hole, drilling crews use the term on station. Here's a semi-submersible rig loaded on a special carrier. The carrier vessel is moving the rig a far distance over the ocean. For shorter moves, the rig owner tows the rig to the drill site. Or, some semi-submersibles are self-propelled. A drill ship is a self-propelled floating offshore drilling unit.